and welcome to another edition of Azure Every Day. My name is John Bloom, and I'm a lead consultant at Pragmatic Works Consulting. And I want to talk today about the Azure Databricks and how to connect to your storage account. So in order to connect the Azure Databricks to the Azure Storage account, we're going to connect to a blob storage. In order to do so, we'll need a shared access signature or an SAS token. We also have the downloadable application called Azure Storage Explorer, where we can peruse our files. So let's go ahead and get started. So here you see that we have the Azure Databricks already loaded, and we click on the Launch Workspace, and this takes us to our Azure uh, infrastructure. And from here, we already have a cluster, which is up and running, and we have our notebook right here. And the notebook is how we uh, do our coding within the Azure uh, Databricks. So the first thing we need to do is we go ahead and create us a uh, storage account. And we created one already. And we created a blob storage in this case. So we have our container. And the container is here. And we named it demo. And we can access that demo to our Azure Storage Explorer here. So what we did is we connected to our Azure storage account. We drilled into our blob storage and our demo container, and we uploaded two files, which are CSV and nature. So within the Azure Databricks, the things we need to be aware of is there's some code in Python that we're using to connect to our storage account. And this is the code here. So basically what it does, it references your container which is part of the syntax, in our case, it's demo, the storage account name, storage account name, and then we want to mount the demo folder. So that's how you do that. And then what we do is we, we kind of follow the pattern here and just apply the, the structure based on this logic here. And this key is actually an SAS uh, generated key. And the way that happens is you go into your storage account and it's a shared access signature. And what you do is you click on, make sure that your blob is there, check, these are optional, and then you're, these are the type of permissions that you're allowed to do. And then typically you would specify IP addresses that are allowed to configure. And then there's a few other things. And then you click on the generate SAS connection string. There's also an option to do it within this here where you uh, get shared access signature and you can specify the permissions here. So now that we've done that, we'll go ahead back to our Azure Databricks. And the way that it works is you just click on the control enter button. And since the, store, since the cluster is already up and running, it's going to send the command to the cluster. And the cluster is going to perform the action. And if it's successful, then we'll have a connection. What we'll do is we'll have a link. We'll mount the demo folder. And from there, we should be able to see our files. So you can see that the job is running right here. It, it may take a few minutes, but it's doing its thing. OK, so it succeeded. So what that means is we now have a mounted folder structure in our blob storage storage account. And we can reference uh, this command here to display the contents of that folder. And you'll notice that these two CSV files are the same files that are here. So that's how easy it is to connect to your blob storage in Azure using your Azure Databricks using your uh, connection. And this is how it works. So with that said, if you'd like to discuss Databricks or have questions on Azure or Power Platform, click the link below for more information, and we'll be happy to discuss it further. We appreciate your time, and have a great day. Thank you.